turn on the force. Hello there! I'm Jedi Joy. I'm Jedi Jill. And welcome back to Jedi Twins Banter. We are excited this week. Very. We're going to be talking a lot about the Ahsoka episodes one and two. Mm -hmm. But before we do, hit the like and subscribe buttons below. That's and right. And turn on your notifications button. Yes, and I'm going to throw a link down there for a video and it's also going to be on the end screen you're going to see it at the end if you stay tuned um it's a video that we made for 500 sub giveaway so you want to watch that to get in on the action we're going to be giving a action figure away that's correct i'm also going to be putting down there because we apologize for being late this week yes um i'm going to put a link down there to a video it's going to show you what we were up to so um, I'll put that down there and check that out too. Yeah. So, are you ready for some Ahsoka? Here, Here we go. go. Wow, everyone, I am so excited. What about me? I don't know, are you? Oh my gosh. I I, am... I was so thrilled to yes. see it. The first two episodes, and now I even want more. I was so excited. I just cannot wait for the next episode. Oh my mm. gosh. It was very, very, very exciting for me, to see it in live action, Huang's um, ship um, in live action, mm -hmm. the, the transport that uh, they the used, the, 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 no, the rebel transport. Oh yeah, the rebel that they transport. they used in in, mm, in live huge. action, mm -hmm. uh, the ghost, the phantom, all those things that they used in live action. In, a, in the Ahsoka series. Yeah. That was awesome. And Rosario Dawson, she is superb. Excellent. Captures her movements mm -hmm. to the T. Mm -hmm. um, very good job. Very good job, Rosario. Excellent. Yep. Yes. Big shout out to her. Yeah. Wow. What an undertaking that was to play that character. Yes, it and was. And she's doing an awesome job. Yeah. So let's talk about some things we see. So we do see, um, as it opens up there, um, Balin Skull. No, it's it, Balin Skull. Skull, I'm sorry. That's what it is. Yes, Balin Skull. Um, and Shin Hati. And we see them coming off the Which ship. Which is the name of the first episode. It's called Apprentice, uh, uh, Master and Apprentice. Right. Which we see then that right off the bat. Right, so they come onto that rebel transport and, uh, well, they're obviously there to get uh, the uh, Morgan Elsbeth. Morgan Elsbeth. 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 No oh boy. I know. We'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> We're working at it. <laughs> um, so they get down there and wow. Wow. So that's one of the first things. Okay, so we see, and he says, I'm no Jedi. When he says, I'm no Jedi, well, what does that remind you of? Ahsoka saying that when she's fighting Darth Vader and Darth Vader, she says, I'm going to take you out. Um, you know, and he says, well, that goes against Jedi. Uh, protocol protocol and she says i'm no jedi mm -hmm. so that was kind of funny yeah so that i mean there cool. right off the bat we see that boom 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 and then we go right into that big scene where he's fighting and he's coming down the hallway well is this not um uh, reminiscent of darth vader's fight where he mm -hmm. is very aggressive and he's using his hand the force uh to, to choke and to push out push of the way and using his lightsaber and just mm -hmm. push down the hall and Balin is such a big guy oh, oh man yeah so it's like he's he's, he's Darth Vader hey, yeah I mean, it's like, he's like that's very reminiscent of of that that look that, that whole scene right well that was pretty cool that's right and I'm, I'm gonna be just looking at some some notes here just so I don't miss everything mm-hmm okay this next thing I thought was kind of cool. Now these are kind of, these things that we're mentioning now are kind of, I, I call them Easter eggs. So we see Ahsoka for the first time and I forget the name of the place. 
where she was to get the map. Oh, yeah. I, it was a funky name, and I can't remember. I know. <sighs> and I, I forgot to look that up again to recall. So my apologies. Um, it, she did that circular cut oh. in the cement to go down inside. And that was awesome. That was, that is not the first time that we've seen no, her do that. No, it was not. It was so at the end of the Clone Wars, and she's escaping uh, from the clones Order. after Order sixty six, mm -hmm. trying to shoot her. She uses that circular cut to escape, help her escape. Yeah. So it was really cool to see it in live action. I'm like, oh my oh, gosh, look at that! There it is. Her her that's like so so good. That's her move, man. That's one of her moves. Yeah, and it it was. That was pretty cool. I mm -hmm. was like, oh, wow. Yeah. So that was one of those ones. Um, another one I thought, another of those Easter eggs. Oh, uh, yeah. We hear, oh. well, we hear Fulcrum used. Oh, right. And if you guys, the diehard re rebels out there. Um, or even Clone Wars. Fans. Clone fans, Wars, I think they might have used probably too. I don't remember, but mm -hmm. I know it's in the Rebels. It might have been. I definitely in the Rebels, but mm -hmm. she used this. This was her code name mm -hmm. because she did a lot of uh, message conveying to the Rebels, and 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 so she used this as her her code name. Yeah, Fulcrum, and she just kept it as the name for the code name for the the ship that Hunan's who Hu, Hunan's mm -hmm. Huang's ship that she travels on now. Right. And I'm telling you, the inside of that ship, oh my. Yeah, isn't that oh, cool? Oh, golly. Cool? Yeah, the table yeah. was pretty cool. Right. I have a seat, sit down. Yeah, I know. And um, <laughs> it was. It oh, was really so wait, cool. while we're talking about having a seat and sitting down and then that ship. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sabine gets there finally and she sits down yeah. at the table and she's talking with um, Ahsoka. Yes. And I think there's like two things going on with that title, Master and Apprentice. Because you've got Balin and you've got Shin, uh -huh. Master and Apprentice, but you also have Ahsoka and Sabine. Right. So, I mean, I think it's something about, something mm -hmm. of them about them too a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so, we see, uh, first time we see in live action um, is writer Azadi, who's now the governor of oh right lothal yeah lothal lothal no lothal yeah. lothal lothal there it is this has been a trouble name for jill and i oh my for gosh. jedi jill and i mm. trust me we're going to say it wrong more than once yeah but we're going to get it by the time this episode this season of ahsoka's done we're going to have it down pat because i'm telling you these these terms and pronounce pronunciation well, we, we know we've heard them before i know we just Mess them up. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, and it's very true. But anyhow, these two guys we've had encountered before. Oh, sorry. I didn't mention the other person. It was Ryder, <laughs> Ryder Azadi, and I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, Jai Kel. And he was friends with Ezra. And he was back in the Imperial Academy, and he dropped out of that, and he joined the, uh, um, the, the Rebellion Movement. So he, he, he's a friend of... of uh, Ezra when they were growing up and so mm -hmm. now he's senator of the fall which was kind of cool and <laughs> it's funny Ryder he goes he says he gets out there and he says I don't know where Sabine is I just go ahead and get out there and just talk and he's like what <laughs> so yeah, he puts him out there funny. he says you're good at that but that's just, just so gonna... characteristic because yeah. there she is she's like that's her well you know and yeah. it was so funny because it's like get her here now and and she's nowhere to be found. Right. And that's just so Sabine. And then we see the, mur the mural behind yeah. him right. for the ceremony, which was at the mm -hmm. end of Rebels, we yes. saw. Yes, finale Rebels. And there is when it, they show up. Ahsoka shows up. And um, we, I'm going to jump ahead just a little bit here. Um, we hear the message that from S Sabine on her, the hologram message from Ezra and it says there again um, oh you know you know what to do you know wait you oh 
I had it a minute ago, and now I can't remember what, because he said it at the end of the Rebels. I'm, 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 I'm counting on you. That's it. I'm counting on you. And here, I believe Ahsoka shows up right there at the end of the Rebels, that, that last finale, that final episode. And I think that signifies that she goes into training because mm -hmm. she's now in possession of as a lightsaber. lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. And she got that from Chopper. Who, right. That's where Ezra gave, gave it to Chopper. Mm -hmm. And he took it and Chopper flipped it to her mm -hmm. to go and finish out the deal to get the job done. Right. So I think that's all symbolic there. And then from that point on, I think she becomes uh, Ahsoka's apprentice. Or her yeah, Padawan. Her Padawan. Mm hmm Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. I really do. I thought that was really cool. I did too. Okay, then there's the communications tower. Yeah. Great. So, awesome. And you know they're <laughs> going there, and you see the cat, the Lothal, 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 Lothal cat. Those cats that are around there. And I believe uh, that... You walk inside there and you see a lot of those Easter eggs. Well, the communication yeah. tower is one. Yeah, so we get inside Ezra. there. Ezra. 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 That was mm -hmm. his, his place, place of living. Of, right. In that old communication tower mm -hmm. that it was not, not working anymore. Mm -hmm. And so now it's become where Sabine lives. Lives. So she's kind of personalized it. Yeah. And uh, we see the little sketchings on, on the walls and things. Um, but we also see the old helmets that Ezra, Ezra. collected. Mm -hmm. And we see where she's All going her, through her stuff. Right. You she, see her we, stuff. We see a spray her. can, her spray, spraying paint, paint, paint Guns. sprayer, paint sprayer. Yeah. Yeah, that she used to, you know, she used to do a lot of stuff with the mm -hmm. artwork and all mm -hmm. that stuff because mm -hmm. um, that's what she did. She kind of artsy kind of. And yeah. um, she. Mm -hmm. Ezra's lightsaber was in there. And Ezra's lightsaber and was the in calm. there. And the hologram. The hologram. The hologram yeah. message. Mm -hmm. where she pulls out and then we see him come up and we see that message. Now, we don't see that at the end of Rebels. No. What we see is a message that, that, to, the, to whole, the whole crew. The, the whole ghost crew. Right. Uh, and so, I I have, you know, it could have I, been. Think, I think that she knew that it was, she had found it. He left it and I think she found it. But she knew this, like in this Ahsoka episode, she knew she had it. I think she, this is not the first time she's watched that. She's watched it many times. And having the ceremony just brought on more. I believe it did more, bring, bring more memories and, and, and she and feelings yeah. about the whole events of that right. day. Yeah. I do too. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. We already oh. just talked about that, Ezra's. Ezra's goodbye message. That was oh, yeah. the other that we, we yeah, just right, mentioned it. Right, 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 right. Um. Oh, ooh, yeah. This is a good one. Okay. So Morgan Ellsworth. No, Morgan Ellsworth. I said I have Ellsworth down on my paper well, here. That's not Ellsworth. It's Morgan. It is Ellsworth. It is. It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, people! I typed it in wrong. Holy cow. Woo! Big mistake there. All right. Hmm. So there was a theory going around that she could be part of the Night Sisters. Night Sisters. And guess, I guess what? what? That's affirmed, finally. It's finally confirmed in Ahsoka mm -hmm. that Morgan Elsbeth is a Night Sister. She is. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was interesting to see that. Yeah. And. Let's see what else. We got the last one here. Uh, we mentioned this already about the lightsaber. And um, that we did see uh, Ezra's lightsaber. Right. Now, it was kind of interesting, too, um, that Huang mentions the lightsaber. Oh. And how she says at the end, you know, she says, it's not it's my lightsaber. It's not my lightsaber. And, and he, he goes, yeah, it's yours. You redesigned it. You put your... Your take on it, and right. it's yours. That's right. You made it yours. So now it's hers, and she has it. Yeah. Um, we do see a lot going on here. Um, there were other things, little Easter eggs that I saw. 
Um, and one of them, oh, we saw the wolves. The yeah. local wolves. Wolves. And, wolves. Yeah. and I have down here, ah, we hear music when they bring Harrison Dula in. If you remember the Rebels, that's her music symbolic to her that was played in the in the rebels, rebels. and also sabine sabine, sabine ren mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and that was pretty cool yeah so they were keeping that consistency or uh paralleling to those characters the music in their character right that was nice yeah so um i think i just love huang Ewing. I, Ewing. Huang. 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 Here, see, this is where we have um, trouble. So we'll say it over and over and over again. Huang. Huang. It's you. Huang. 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 There we go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyhow, I just love him. Yes. I'm waiting for the action figure, and I believe it's been leaked that they're going to put one out there. Oh, yeah. So that's be I'm nice. on board with that. And he. I think that he has, it's almost as though he has wisdom. And it's a machine. Machines don't have wisdom. But I really, I do love his character. And I love seeing him in live action. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's wonderful. Yeah. And it's nice to have the same person voicing that character that was in Rebels. Yeah. Or in the Clone Wars. Oh, and I know what else, too, we, we see. One other Easter egg. Um, uh, we see in episode two, um, Sabine is going to cut her hair and go through this big ceremony that, okay, right. I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm ready to be what I need to be. Mm -hmm. I need to be the Padawan. I need to do this. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm to do. Change of heart. Right. And Kanan... Uh, Jarrus. Kane and Jarrus did the same thing. It was almost like the same knife. Yeah. And then he just cut his ponytail off and, and that was... It's kind of symbolic. Yeah, that he knew what he had to do mm -hmm. and, and that was just like yeah. what he did. And it was just, it was really cool. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, it was kind of symbolic too is that on here, I have some notes here. Because I, I want to read this. I know. I thought I, I had it down here. Um, uh, uh, oh, okay. Yes. Um, um, okay. That's what it is. So, Ahsoka, if you remember uh, telling Hera, she's not ready yet. Kanan says the same thing. Um to Hera, I think again, Ezra, about Ezra, he's not ready yet. But here, I believe that the, their, their, it's an, their excuse, um, Kanan and Ahsoka's, a fear of not training them in to, the proper manner, in the proper manner, in the best way right. that they can. Mm -hmm. And I think we hear that from, from Kanan because Kanan finally opens up to that truth. That he's 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 just he's he, there's fear there, and so that's that's why it was it's just a way of saying no I I he's not ready yet. Mm -mm. So we we see that, but Ahsoka's a little different in the way that um, I think more or less like she'll know when she's ready kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, and then she shows up. Yeah, she shows up. But hey, how about that that lightsaber? Fight with with uh, Shin and and Sabine, right? You could definitely tell that Sabine was like not not making it, not up the not, par. Nope, and she was not making it. She's not winning that battle. And no, Shin could have clearly killed her. Yes, could have really got her right I where. Know. You, you know, but she didn't. No, no. Why? I don't know. There could be so re some reasons with that. I mean. I think she was she's... never given orders to kill her. You know what I mean? She never was just go and find her. You know, this is who you're looking for, kind of sort of thing. 
And maybe she felt no. that... No. No, they she said, was, you're looking for... Oh, no, they just said, yeah, you're looking for Sabine Wren. They said, uh, uh, Ahsoka's... Yeah, they guess that's who you're looking yeah. for. So they go into this place, right? Lothal, 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 Lothal. Hey, again, give us a count down in the comments below, and let us know how many times and how many words we've said incorrectly. incorrectly. <laughs> we appreciate and thank you for it. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so. She could have definitely done that, and that's why she was sent. But she, de she doesn't actually get, I mean, they don't say to take care of her, like get rid of her or anything like that. They just said, this is who you're wanting to find. Yeah. You know, and uh, they, she found her, oh, but you she sure was. they didn't say get rid of no, her? No, I mean, they got what they wanted. She came down with the lightsaber to try to get it, that, the map steal. Yeah. So that's what initiated the fight. They would have just left. Okay. She, she had no reason to kill her. She wasn't given orders to kill her. No, but and, she knew and, and, how. And she was defending herself. Yes. So she was being nice. Let's talk a little bit more about this Shin. I don't think she's good. I think she's going to be good. I mean, just mm -hmm. from the interview that I saw from the convention when they were interviewing yes. Rosario and... Um, Sabine, uh, I forget her first name. Sab huh? Her first name. Sabine's first name in, in real life, what her, what her name is. Oh, I do too. Okay, but those three characters, yes. they were interviewing and... Mm, i got to grab Well, no, things. actually, it wasn't those three characters. Let me something out it, was, it was uh, Morgan Alsbis character and, and Shin. That those two uh, actors were being interviewed at the convention, and, and they right. asked, they talked about um, her character and everything. Well, they to said, Shin, they, and I have it here. Um, they said, you know, what motivates Shin, ha, Shin Hati, and what motivates? This is yeah. one of the questions, and she answers, it's the unknown and the desire to understand. And the desire for power or the desire to belong. So she asks a uh, lot of I, questions. She does. And she's learning and she's taking it all in. Mm -hmm. And I think, and just from her answer at the convention, which those were not, those were other interviews, I believe. Okay. And um, this is the, the convention, the Star Wars celebration in the UK. Okay. And her response is just, it was like, I hope you all like my character you know, give her a chance, and just the way she was, like, stating it, you get a feeling like, I'm thinking that she's not going to be bad. I think she's going to be good. Yeah. I think you, she's going to turn good. And you know, kind of like what I see happening? She didn't kill her, because she could have. Oh, she could have just laid right into Sabine and killed her. Mm. I see the light working in her like the dark worked in Anakin. So yeah. you see little by little a change a change in their characters. And I'm wondering if we're going to see the same thing with Shin. Well, I think that she's neither dark nor light yet fully. Force sensitive? Force sensitive. Both her and Balin. Right. But Balin, he, his comments is like... He wants power. power. So that's like he's... Power is... Mm, not good. It, no. Not like he wants it, I don't think. Yeah. You know, it's... So yeah. we're gonna have to see how this all turns out. Just a little tidbit. Do you know who that um, Sh Shin Shin Hati reminds me of? Like her character, she just looks like that Wanda um, Mas Maximoff from Marvel. I don't agree. Oh, I do. I think she looks like her eyes, I, her look. It reminds me a lot of of I don't think of so. Wanda Maximoff. Yeah, mm. yeah. It does. It just reminds me. Oh, that's nice. Let us know in the comments. Mm. Dispute. You got to... I, yeah. I already say no. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think... I think right, we, we covered... covered. We covered most of it. We but covered most of it. And I'm looking forward to the third episode. But oh, what I'm yeah. hearing from the grapevine... Oh! And some articles out there... Yeah. People are saying that we are actually going to see Anakin appear... Don't know what his role is or what it's 
going to be in telling, but in the fifth episode, we're going to see him. It, which is written by Dave, Dave Filoni. Filoni. Yeah. And um, we don't, like we said, we don't know if he's going to be a ghost or if there's going to be uh, a back backstory back, yeah. or something yeah, we don't know into what mm -hmm. what aspect he's going to be right. playing but i'm excited mm -hmm. we'll Very see where excited. it's gonna go let's we'll see what's gonna happen yes so it's gonna be too cool yes well okay so thank you for joining us yes we hope you enjoyed our jedi, jedi twins banter this week yeah and sorry we're late yes mm -hmm. very very sorry um we appreciate your support all the likes the mm -hmm. shares um the comments all that helps our channel so much yes. and we appreciate it um please continue to support us mm -hmm. uh, check out the video in the description below right a couple videos i'm going to put down there mm -hmm. and once for the when we get 500 subs we're going to do a giveaway mm -hmm. figure giveaway and check that out and then we're um, also, you can check out what we were doing this weekend. That's why we don't have the banter out on time. Right. So uh, check, I'll, check right. them out. Check them out. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Jedi Joy. I'm Jedi Jill. May, May the, the Force be with you. With you.